Hello, I'm Mark Persty, Dean of the School of Law at UCC and also Programme Coordinator of the LLM in Marine and Maritime Law, and I'd like to give you a short introduction to that course. Why choose the course? Something I haven't mentioned on the slide but I think is very important is Ireland's and particularly Cork's tremendous maritime heritage and the fact that Cork has the second largest natural harbour in the world. So I think it's very fitting that UCC offers this course. So you might want to undertake the course to develop a specialisation in marine or maritime commercial law within the legal profession. However, you might also want to undertake it if you're already in a job involving marine or maritime activities and you want to enhance your career prospects. Or you might want to take it as a foundation for further and deeper study at PhD level into an area of marine or maritime law. But if you do choose to undertake the course, you'll be taught by the best marine and maritime practitioners in Ireland, by academic experts from the School of Law, by experts from the Irish Naval Service, and also experts from MARAI, this research centre for energy, climate and marine research and innovation, which UCC coordinates through its Environmental Research Institute. Something on the course structure. You can either choose to do the full LLM, which consists of taught elements and a dissertation, or simply the postgraduate diploma, which consists of taught elements without a dissertation. There is flexibility though, so if you do start with the postgraduate diploma, you can convert it into an LLM by subsequently undertaking the dissertation. You can study full-time over the course of a year or part-time over the course of two years, although that option is only available to students from the EU. A little bit now on course practicalities, teaching and the modules which are available. Teaching will be based around seminars. Uh, these may be face-to-face -face or online, but for maximum flexibility, everything will be recorded. There's also an element of directed study with a dissertation under the guidance of a supervisor if you're undertaking the LLM, and also clinical work if you undertake the clinical module. And I'll say a little bit more about that under the next slide. The curriculum consists of 20 credits of core modules. These are Introduction to Law of the Sea and Admiralty Law, and then 40 credits of elected modules. And of those 40, 20 credits have to be in modules which do relate to marine, maritime and environmental issues. And 20 credits have to be in modules that do not relate to marine, maritime or environmental issues. Those could be, for example, other modules in business law or perhaps in human rights law. Assessment is very largely by means of continuous assessment throughout the year. And if you do undertake the LLM, you will be required to do a 30 credit dissertation under the guidance of a supervisor. I mentioned the clinical module on the last slide, and I'd very like to say a little bit more about that. This module is based on our tremendous relationship with the Irish Naval Service, and we've managed to develop a number of simulations involving law enforcement at sea. And normally the clinical work would involve providing legal advice to the Irish Naval Service on what actions may be lawful in dealing with a simulated situation where a vessel is engaging in some kind of suspicious conduct in Irish waters. And the highlight actually involves engaging in the simulation on board one of the Irish Naval Service's warships. Turning to careers, career opportunities and employability, the programme provides a tremendous education in marine or maritime commercial law, and there are certainly opportunities in the legal where um, there is specialisation in some firms in maritime and marine law, in government or regulatory agencies, in industry, for example, the shipping industry itself, infrastructure developers such as those developing offshore wind farms, also NGOs, uh, maritime and marine or environmental consultancies, 
international organisations such as the IMO and also academia if you're interested in following up with a PhD and going into the academic profession. The entry requirements, normally we would be looking for 2H1, that's an upper second class degree of law, or the equivalent from another country or, or jurisdiction. Candidates who don't have law degrees but do have degree qualifications, who are interested in the programme and or have relevant professional experience in the marine or maritime field can also apply. For candidates whose first language is not English, the normal English language standard is IELTS 6.5 with no element below 5.5. We would consider other English language qualifications also such as TEFL and Duolingo. This slide sets out the fees and funding. First of all, the EU fees, the full-time fee is just over 7,000 euros and you'll also see the part-time fee set out there. This one merit-based scholarship of 700 euros is available to the applicant to all the schools LLMs who has the best first class 1H or equivalent grade. The non-EU fee is just over 17,000 euros and there are merit-based scholarships available for non-EU applicants. So those getting a 1H first class degree or equivalent, the scholarship is 3,000. For those getting a 2H1 upper second class or equivalent, the scholarship is 2,000. Or if you get a 2H2 lower second class or equivalent, the scholarship is 1,000. And those sums would be set off against the tuition fee. If you're applying for one of our, from one of our Chinese partner institutions, the scholarship is 20% of the tuition fee, and that would apply rather than those merit-based scholarships. So thank you very much for listening to this introduction to the LLM Marine and Maritime Law. I hope you have found it useful and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any queries.